President Abdel Fattah Sisi hosted a tripartite summit with the Jordanian King Abdullah II and Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas in Cairo on Tuesday, during which they discussed the latest developments in the occupied Palestinian territories in addition to a number of regional and international issues of mutual concern. The three leaders expressed their full support to the Palestinian President's efforts during the current delicate juncture of the Palestinian cause and stressed on the need of, for an international protection for the Palestinian people and for their legitimate rights. President Abdel Fattah Sisi hosted a tripartite summit including King Abdullah II of Jordan and Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas at Al Tahadiyya Palace on Tuesday. The summit discussed current developments in the occupied Palestinian territories and the related regional and international issues. During their meeting, the leaders stressed the necessity of preserving the legitimate Palestinian rights and the continuation of their joint efforts to achieve a comprehensive, just and lasting peace based on the two-state solution which embodies the independent and sovereign Palestinian state on the lines of June the 4th, 1967 and in accordance with the international law and relevant international legitimacy resolutions. President el-Sisi and King Abdullah II affirmed their full support for the efforts of the Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas in the critical situation that the Palestinian cause is going through amidst increasing regional and international challenges. The leaders stressed the need for the international community to provide protection for the brotherly Palestinian people and their legitimate rights and join efforts to find a real political horizon that would relaunch serious and effective negotiations to resolve the Palestinian issue on the basis of the two-state solution, warning of the danger of the continued absence of political horizon and its repercussions on security and stability. They stress the need to stop all illegal unilateral Israeli measures that undermine the two-state solution and the chances of achieving a just and comprehensive peace, which includes settlements, confiscation of Palestinian lands, home demolitions, the displacement of Palestinians from their homes, the continuous Israeli incursions into Palestinian cities, and the violation of the historical and legal status quo in Jerusalem and its sanctities. They stress the need to preserve the existing historical and legal status in Jerusalem and its Islamic and Christian sanctities in a manner that guarantees respect for the fact that the blessed Al-Aqsa Mosque, Al-Haram al qudsiyya al Al-Sharif, with its entire area of 144 dunes, is a pure place of worship for Muslims. President El-Sisi and President Mahmoud Abbas also stressed the importance of the historical Hashemite custodianship ship over Islamic and Christian holy places in Jerusalem and their role in protecting these sanctities and their Arab Islamic and Christian identity. The leaders also highlighted the importance of the international community continuing to support the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestinian Refugees in Rwa and the need to provide the financial support it needs to continue providing vital services to Palestinian refugees in accordance with its UN mandate, especially in light of the important humanitarian and development role that the agency plays in favor of brotherly Palestinian people. The leaders agreed to continue intensive consultations and coordination within the framework of the Egyptian-Jordanian-Palestinian tripartite coordination formula at all levels in order to crystallize a vision to activate efforts to resume negotiations and to work with brothers and partners to revive the peace process according to the approved terms of references within the framework of efforts to help the people. The brotherly Palestinians are to obtain all their rights and amid them for most of which is their right to freedom, independence and a sovereign state on the national soil on the basis of two-state solution. Foreign Minister Semeh Shukri said Egypt is striving to overcome current challenges that have largely impacted the whole world. In a televised interview on the sidelines of the Abu Dhabi Sustainability Week, Shukri explained that the Economic Forum program Egypt began in 2016 faces the repercussions of both the coronavirus and the Ukrainian crisis. The top diplomat confirmed that state efforts are exerted to overcome these challenges through attracting investments. 
Shukri, who is also the president of the UN Climate Conference COP27, stressed on the need to put forth mechanisms needed for obtaining financial aid that would help in tackling climate change challenges ahead of the upcoming conference COP28. The minister asserted that Egypt aspires to be a hub for green hydrogen, noting to the Green Hydrogen Initiative launched by Egypt in cooperation with Belgium during the COP27. The Interior Ministry has organized a regional workshop in coordination with the Interpol organization. The three-day workshop tackled means of cooperation in the field of combating terrorism financing in the Middle East region and the African continent. The workshop was attended by delegates of 21 states and representatives of the United Nations and the Interpol organizations. It probed means of cooperation and exchanged visions on modern ways to combat terrorism.